folks, Casey here. Welcome back to the channel. This week I posed the question of can you reuse an Oedeker clamp? What is an Oedeker clamp, you might ask? Well, in 1942 in Oregon, Switzerland, Mr. Hans Oedeker invented the first ear clamp. You probably call it an ear clamp because when you turn it to the side, it looks like an ear on the side of somebody's head. This is a permanent style clamp used in many OE applications for plumbing. Um, they provide a very secure, uh, seamless on the inside, unlike a worm clamp seal. They're pretty cool. Um, why would you want to reuse one? Well, you certainly would not want to reuse an Oedeker clamp in any sort of critical application. Just replace it with a hose clamp, uh, a worm drive hose clamp, and be done with it, right? Um, in my application, I'm replacing some dust boots on a drive shaft, and that drive shaft is balanced, and I think that the little screw and barrel on a worm style hose clamp could actually introduce an imbalance to the drive shaft. Probably fairly unlikely. Um, also, I can't find <laughs> any less than a 100 pack of clamps in any of the given sizes. And between my two drive shafts, I've actually got four different sizes of clamp. Um, totally non-critical application. So I'm hoping that I can reuse this clamp. And what happens is this ear, when you put them in your pliers, you crimp the ear and basically it folds in, you know, like a little accordion to tighten the clamp. And once you do that, you know, these are stainless steel. You can't bend that clamp back, but maybe you can. All right, guys, so what do you think? Do you think that's gonna work? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I would not reuse one of these clamps in any sort of critical application. Uh, dust boot on a drive shaft is completely non-critical, um, and I'm gonna have time to see if it's gonna work or not. Um, for the amount of time that I spent hammering these back into shape, uh, I probably would have been way better off just coming up with something else, a zip tie perhaps um, if, if you find a good like American made zip tie, maybe it would be robust enough to stay in place. Um, I know that there are stainless steel zip ties available, but I've heard uh, feedback that you can't get those super tight because of the type of uh, closure on them. So I don't know, we'll see. My main concern is metal fatigue because this was formed and then it was bent and then it was unbent 
and now I'm going to form it again. So that's four times that the metal has moved in an extreme situation. But stainless steel is pretty resilient and um, I don't show any signs of the metal tearing or anything like that. So like I said, completely non-critical application. I'm going to give it a try. But let me know what you think in the comments. Am I crazy? We've crossed this bridge before. <laughs> it's in my channel name. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this week. Be sure you hit that like button. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because that helps me keep the content coming to you week after week. Thanks for watching this week. I'm going to file this under quick tips. It wasn't such a quick, quick tip, but it is still a tip. And maybe somebody in a pinch will be able to get by if this is all they have. Um, yeah, that's all I know. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.